Trajan leads Rome in Sid Meier's Civilization VI. He ruled Rome at the height of its territorial expanse, built many public projects, and is remembered as one of the five good emperors. All roads lead to Rome, which is also the name of Rome's special ability. Not only do all cities start with a trading post, but new cities within trade route range of your capital also start with a road to them. Your trade routes earn extra gold for passing through trading posts in your own cities. Rome's unique unit is the Legion. Although more expensive than the swordsman it replaces, it is stronger and can function as a military engineer to build forts and roads. But keep in mind, there's only a limited number of times that they can build. The baths are Rome's replacement for the aqueduct. It provides amenities and more housing than the aqueduct. Trajan's column is his special ability. All cities start with one free building in their city center. Most of the time, this will be a monument. To make the most of Rome's abilities, you're going to want to establish cities quickly, then head for engineering as a technology to take advantage of the baths. After that, you'll want to expand quickly across the world. While this might lead you into conflict with other civilizations, don't be afraid to rely on your mighty legions. You'll have early access to forts to help you hold your territorial gains. Can you lead your people to an age of peace from your eternal city? How will you lead Rome in Sid Meier's Civilization VI?